YouTube video of um, the problems that I had uh, when I was setting up my DJI Phantom 4 standard and uh, the issue that uh, I started to show you in the, uh, the setup video that uh, I did a little bit earlier on. So what happened was I did the updates, uh, you saw the update start, um, one of the updates I think did the remote control of the RC and then one tried to do the actual Phantom 4 itself and then there was a whole uh, way of uh, actually doing the updates through the iPad application and I'm quite far away from my router here, uh, my router connection speed is only around about sort of 4 meg so I figured that there was a problem with the way that it got set up so I tried to do it in the study um, and uh, really and truly the whole thing uh, came to a complete uh, grinding halt with various issues with the Phantom uh, and then with the radio controller. So I fixed the Phantom by using the Assist 2 application on the iMac and having forced the upgrade a couple of times to go onto the system as well as uh, using a, a little utility that uh, I found on the web uh, to help with a uh, essentially the, uh, the processor which is running on this, which I think is an Android system uh, and it allows an Android phone or an Android system to be seen by the Apple Macintosh a little bit better. And once I'd installed that uh, piece of software, which I'll add as a link uh, in the below comments, uh, then that made this uh, particular update work on the, the Phantom 4 itself. Now I'm not sure if that would actually work with yourself. Um, I did many reboots, rebooted the, the iMac a couple of times and in those combinations um, I managed to force the, uh, the right uh, firmware to become on, installed on the controller. But that left me with a red-green flashing LED on this particular LED here. So if I start up the, um, the actual controller, you'll see that LED goes red. And then when I start up the, uh, the Phantom, now the Phantom will come up, hopefully. Yep, and there's the Phantom coming up, and that goes solid green. Uh, and then in the DJI Go App 4, uh, which I'm uh, launching at the moment, you will then uh, see that uh, the, uh, the, the actual plane will come up and will register itself uh, in a second. And that will then show that uh, there is a, a link that's made between the device, i.e. The, the craft, uh, and the controller. And you can still see there's a solid green light on there. And maybe you can see there's a similar type of setup here. So if I take that one away, um, uh, you can now see on the controller uh, that I have the ready to fly um, and you can also see that uh, I have a perfect uh, image on the screen itself. The two icons at the top here, one which showed the remote control uh, and the other one showed the HD, um, both of those had all of their signal bars down at zero. And then this guy was actually flashing uh, red and green continuously. Um, and no matter what I did, no matter how I tried to, uh, to make it work, I just could not get a stable lock on this system. Uh, and even if you clicked on the, the application up here, um, which I think is this one, uh, when you go to the controller and you would go to uh, uh, about the aircraft, um, which I won't bring up because I know it brings up serial numbers, but it wouldn't show me the serial number of the aircraft or occasionally it would show the serial number of the aircraft and it wouldn't show me various other uh, values as well. So all in all, uh, a very unsatisfactory um, outcome. And, you know, I, I thought, okay, fine. So, you know, obviously something was a little bit wrong. I phoned up DGI on the support lines and I spent uh, a tremendous amount of time talking to DGI on the phone to go through various ways to relink, etc, etc. None of these worked. And their final recommendation was to pack the whole thing up and send it back to the company that I bought it from. Now, I'm a techie uh, and therefore I'm not satisfied with that particular response. It felt to me like something had gone wrong with the firmware download on the remote control. So I did a lot of digging. Uh, there are no YouTube videos that I could find. But I did a lot of digging uh, to actually have a look to see uh, what people have done for recommendations, etc, etc. And I did stumble across various techniques that would actually allow you to get the red-green LED to disappear. Um, and what I will do now is I will take you through the screenshots that I managed to capture at various stages uh, and actually describe the process itself uh, through, those, uh, through those screens. So I'll disappear from this screen and we'll go and start looking at some of the, uh, the actual screenshots that I captured uh, to describe the setup. The first thing I would recommend is that if you are on an iPad, uh, and you have access to an Android device which is compatible with 
uh, the, uh, the, this setup, then try the Android application, because the Android application may actually work for you. I have no Android applications in this household, uh, other than a small TV box, uh, which won't work for this. Um, but we have, obviously, a lot of Apple equipment, uh, and I have Windows equipment. And none of that would obviously work, because obviously there's no tablet that works with this type of thing, other than an Android or an iPad or an Apple-based product. So this meant that I had to revert to and use some techniques to actually force the radio control to actually take and accept uh, an earlier version of the software and then go through the process of bringing it back up again. Now, since this video has been made, I believe that DJI have now updated the iOS application and the iOS application may already have solved this issue, so this may actually not be a problem for anyone. But if you're still using the original DJI Go 4 app uh, that was uh, out around about December time, then you may have had this problem. And I know with the forums that many people have run into issues where effectively their, their system has bricked and there doesn't seem to be an easy way of actually bringing these two devices up. My last recommendation is before you try any of this is that if you have a brand new DJI standard or professional or maybe advanced plus, um, <clears throat> then when you do the aircraft update, don't do it through the iPad app. Um, my experience is, and I think many people have also echoed, that the Assist 2 application, which you can download from DJI's website um, and link it to, a, uh, to the correct USB cable, is by far, by far the best way of actually setting this thing up. Because unlike this wireless setup, you have to disconnect a cable and reconnect a cable, and it seems to get to 99% and then just hangs up. So if you're updating the aircraft, update the aircraft through the Assist application. Um, this controller doesn't get seen by the Assist application at the moment, I don't know why, um, so I'm not going to touch it. I also haven't updated to the new uh, DJI GO 4 app yet because I'm a little concerned as I have a working system that by upgrading the, uh, the OS uh, that, uh, device that uh, uh, it will do something else. I do have two other annoying issues, um, one which comes up very frequently is wireless um, interference. It tells me that there's some wireless interference around here and I'm in a sort of fairly rural countryside when you'll see some of the footage I'll put up. Um, so I'm surprised that I'm getting that type of, uh, type of message. And the other one I'm getting is that uh, strong winds. And I have a little, um, uh, little uh, weather vane or a little um, uh, anemometer which actually tells me the wind speed at the ground. And I'm not flying it in, in winds more than about 10 miles an hour, even gusting on the ground. So I'm surprised that uh, the Phantom's actually complaining at that level. I know when you get higher that the winds get get more, but, but I'm looking at the trees and, and gauging it from that way. So I will now take you through the setup process that, that I found out with this. Here I'm showing you the, uh, the Go 4 app, uh, which uh, has no signal strength on those two antennas, uh, as well as uh, a very poor image. This is the next screen which is about, and you can see that there's no aircraft information or flight controller serial number. Now I've launched the actual DJI Go app, which is the older Go app, uh, which doesn't support the Phantom, but will allow you to actually uh, configure the remote control. Once this is actually launched, you need to select the Phantom 3. And in this case, I'm selecting the Phantom 3 Pro, as I believe this one has the capability for uh, the, uh, uh, the same sort of lightning bridge uh, effect. Now what I'm doing is I'm turning on the remote control. At this time, the P4, the Phantom 4, should be off. The aircraft should be off. Uh, so now what I'm doing is I'm pressing the three little dash buttons in the top right hand corner and this will cause the configuration screen for the radio control to pop up and as you can see here I have 1.9.3 on my controller. By pressing the middle button you can now select or down select the, uh, the different type of firmware um, and in this case I would suggest 1.5.8 uh, and then press the download button once you've selected it. I'm not going to do that because obviously my controller is working at this moment in time. Once it's gone through the process of downgrade which will cause the LEDs to flash etc etc you need to switch off the remote control and then switch it back on again still with the aircraft off now what it will do if you see the aircraft says disconnected um, press that button and uh, you should get a pop-up screen uh, which will uh, pop up in a second and under current status you should see a triangle which would then tell you that you've got an old firmware on the actual device itself and there's a new one available and download that firmware I recommend that you do this in uh, very close proximity uh, to your router uh, so that you get the best connection to your Wi-Fi signal. Once you've actually completed the downgrade, you can then uh, unload the application 
uh, and then uh, switch off the uh, the remote control again uh, and this time switch to your Go 4 app and switch on your aircraft and your remote control. I hope this helps people.